Aloha. I'd like to share a beautiful teaching by a gentleman named Yogananda. Yes, he's a very famous yogi. He wrote a very famous book called Autobiography of a Yogi. If you haven't read it, highly recommend it. It's life transforming. In fact, I believe Steve Jobs had that on his device, the, the whole book. And um, he, many people um, swear by it. One of the Beatles swore by this amazing biography. Anyway, that aside, the teaching I'd like to talk about is this idea that our mind can become extremely restless. I think we've all been there. In fact, it's if it's not a daily occurrence, it kind of becomes unusual in our culture. But the teaching is that we can quieten the mind. And it's really a matter of our focus. If we go out into the world and occupy ourselves and remain busy with everything, if we love to spend every spare moment going out and socialising or doing shopping or doing anything that is just to fill the blanks uh, because we feel restless or anxious, then this actually feeds on the crazy thoughts that love to run rampant through our mind. Uh, Endless activities and doing will create more restlessness in our mind. And ultimately, it's mind over matter. So what we can, um, where we can really wrestle and deal with this is the mind first, and then the rest will follow. Our external peace will follow. So the internal peace is our focus. But how do we do that? Well, uh, Firstly, make it a regular point instead of rushing off to do something to fill a gap, to fill a void when you finished your work for the day. Instead of rushing to the television or rushing to eat something or going to just look at the news, instead of doing any of that, which will lead to more restlessness and anxiety and nervousness, instead of doing that, we want to calm the nervous system down. So we want to stop the activity as much as possible. This is where meditation comes in. I know I talk about meditation nonstop, but it really is a key. It is a secret key, if you like. It's secret because not everybody realizes yet, but meditation will still the mind. And when we begin to more focus on who we really are in quiet solitude, in stillness, we quieten the nervous system, we quieten the restlessness of our minds. And it takes practice, but eventually you'll find that you'll want to go to that quiet place after you finish work. You'll want to go to that stillness to find refuge and sanctuary. And then you have the uh, power and the presence to go into your, onto your next part of, of the day or the next activity that you need to do or you've committed to. So having that power and presence only really comes from stilling the mind and being in stillness. So nervous and restless much? If you are, try this practice. Try a bit of breath work each day. And after work, instead of going to distractions, go to a place of solitude and stillness. And you'll find that peace and power will follow. And when I say power, I'm talking about the ability to control your mind, the ability to quieten it is power. Because when we can do that, we are truly in our sovereignty. So I hope this encourages you today. If you resonate, please like and subscribe and share my videos and have a beautiful empowered day in peace. Bye.